Hey, let's just film an intro, it's super easy. So I'm just going to start with my eyes today and then I'm going to go straight into putting on the liquid latex. So I'm just using LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I'm just going to set that with a cream coloured, oh my god, again, with a cream coloured eyeshadow. Ay, there we go. So in my crease I just used a medium brown and then on my lid I put a shimmery gold colour. Now we're just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with a champagne-y shimmery colour. This shade in the Xanaxo palette. <sighs> it's eyeliner time. So far so good. <laughs> it is kind of crooked. Oh well. <laughs> so today I'm going to use little cotton pads. So this is going to be like the fleshy inner part, but here we go. <laughs> So what I've learned is that it's better to apply it before putting makeup on. Like, this is sticking so much better now. Just like straight onto my skin. I'm sure that's really good for it. Okay. I'm like dancing. <laughs> now I'm just going to lay some tissue paper over top of that so I can like cut it like skin again. Ow, my eye. I'm just going to put more on here, just so it's slightly more secure when I try and cut it. Yeah, it's totally burning my eye again. While I wait for that to dry, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Oh, I've lost the lid. Literally everything. I lose everything. Found it. Eyebrow time. And we have brows. Okay, it's still a bit weird, so I might start to just put foundation on, but for foundation I'm just using the Collection Lasting Perfection foundation. Now I'm just setting that with a L'Oreal setting powder. Alright, now for the fun part. It's still wet. Okay, so I've attempted to kind of blend all of that in. It's not really the same shade, but it'll be fine. It's going to be covered in all sorts of stuff anyway. Oh my god, I've lost the lid again. I'm like sinking down slowly, like... She's going to be watching me from here soon. Smash? Right, so I'm putting some eyelash glue on my hand, uh, just so it can dry off and get a bit tacky before I... Wow. So I've just put some eyelash glue on my hand. So I've just put some... Just to get tacky, and while I wait for that, I think I'm going to have a go at cutting open my face. This should be good. No, it's not dry enough. Still haven't forgotten about it. Found a lid! Finally. I might contour my face. And for highlighter I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle which is my favourite highlighter. I've just noticed that I've actually done a really bad job here so I'm just going to fix it up with some highlighter. So I'm just going to... I've, so I'm just going to go in with concealer and just tidy it up a bit. And yeah, I just put that straight on top of powder. Bite me. Okay, I managed to keep my eyelash glue on my hand this time, so we're just gonna go in with some eyelashes now. If I can find them. They were on my hand like two seconds ago. What's wrong with me? They're right next to me. <laughs> we're off to a great start. I've got eyelashes. Eyelash, what? <laughs> I am so bad at it. There's literally eyelash glue everywhere. I'm going to have to start again. So I've just put more eyelash glue on my palm, hand. There. We're almost there. Okay, it's not brilliant. But it's on. 
I don't think it's meant to look like that. I have eyelashes on. It's a miracle! Usually every time I do this, I literally glue my eyelids together. Actually, that reminds me. Fun little story. I'm not gonna name her. She knows exactly who she is. So you see these little things here. Well, I was, get I was getting ready to go out with a friend one day. We'd had a few wines and we're staying in a hotel room. We had this big giant mirror, we're getting ready together, it was going well. And I just hear this like crack and she's standing there with her mouth open. Home girl, smash one of these in her mouth while trying to open it. I'm literally like dying. I, I could not stop laughing, I felt so bad. Once I realized that she had glass like in her mouth, I stopped laughing and I felt really bad. But like literally the whole night, she's like, yeah, I can like feel glass in my throat, so. Little like sidebar advice. Don't try to break one of these open with your teeth. It doesn't work. You'll just get glass in your mouth. <coughs> but now her and I just like laugh about eyelashes because <laughs> that day I glued my eyelash. Like, like I. So we just have like a running joke about applying eyelashes. Right, now that I have those on. Scissors. Back in with the liquid latex. I go it was so good. I think my coffee's just kicked in. <laughs> I've learned not to use my fingers to try and apply it because it just sticks to my fingers. So I'm just using the back of a little brush. That's it, I'm not touching it anymore. If I do, I'm probably gonna ruin it. I might touch it again. This time I'm like ripping it to make it look just a little bit more savage. Right, so while I wait for that new little bit in there to dry, I'm just going to work on my eyes a little bit more. So I'm just going underneath with the same colours that I've got on top, just to create some more dimension to my eyes. Now I'm just going to add a little mascara, just to blend those lashes together. We're back to the fun palette. Okay, that totally wasn't dry. I'm just gonna go in with my little texture sponge now and just sort of work around this big cut going on here. Okay, so what I've done here is I've gone in with a mixture of all of these colors and just blended them all around the cut. I've gone mostly green in here because I want it to look kind of rotten. Smash. All right, now I think I'm gonna go in with some fake blood. Now I love me some fake blood. What? Did I just say flake bud? <laughs> mm. I'm not putting too much in here because this is meant to be like the most rotten part. You wouldn't really get like you wouldn't really get like fresh looking blood in here if it was really rotten. So I'm gonna go back in with that sponge and just kind of blend it in. having a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying the green, it gives it that real like rotten look. Again, just going in with a small amount of fake blood here because we're going for the rotten look today. <laughs> right, now I'm going to go in with a bit more of a textured sponge and just sort of dab some blood around. Okay, I think I look like I've had human for breakfast. Now I'm gonna work on my nose. Just doing a bit of contouring around my eyes while to make it look bruised. Oh, I need to stretch my legs. Ow. Huh. Just notice this doesn't really look like a cut, so I'm gonna like pull it out. I had to go find some tweezers. <laughs> right. I think it's time for a little more fake blood, don't you? What am I gonna put on my lips? Let's try this color. I feel like I'm done. Oh no, I gotta do my neck. I'm 
Trying to get my hair out of the way. Scrunchy time. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in and just sort of make my eyes look a little bit more dead. Found it. And I lost something else. Found it. So that underneath my eye there is just a mix between the terracotta colour and the dark colour on the Shanix side palette. And now I'm going to go in with like the yellowy shade and just kind of make the bruising look a bit better. Alright, I think... Oh, gross. I think I'm done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more of me, more of my face, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did enjoy this, make sure to give it a like. Uh, oh.